Hello friends, today we will start with JDBC. JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. It is an API or Java API that enables Java programs to execute SQL statement that enables Java programs to execute SQL statement this api consists of it consists of set of classes and interfaces to enable programmers to write your java database application jdbc perform many tasks so let's see first making a connection to database second creating sql statements third executing sql queries in database and fourth viewing and retrieving results so jdbc api defines how an application open a connection communicate with the database execute sql statements and retrieve query results now let's look at jdbc architecture and here we have jdbc application jdbc api here we have jdbc driver manager and then we have jdbc driver these all are jdbc driver for different type of databases so that we can communicate with them the first database we have oracle here we have sql server and in the last we have odbc database let me connect all the boxes jdbc application to jdbc api jdbc api to jdbc driver manager 
JDBC driver managers to all the JDBC driver and at last JDBC driver to database now let's see JDBC API it provides various methods and interfaces to communicate with database basically it is providing application to JDBC manager now JDBC driver manager what is will do is it loads database specific driver in an application to establish connection with database next is JDBC driver it is a database specific software database specific software that receive calls from JDBC driver manager that receive calls from JDBC driver manager and translate them translate them into a form that the database can process and return data to application return data to application so this is how whole JDBC architecture work thank you <laughs>